Hmm, I can't tell if you guys are crooked or not. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to start on some of the inserts. So I've already done this off camera, this fin off camera, and we're working on this fin together. I usually do it the other way around, but accidentally attached it to the front fin versus the third fin because this book we're doing four fins, except the first two are one, that's what I consider, and the second two are one. So I'm, in, I'm doing one off camera, one on camera, right? This is the March book of the month that we're making, and we are using the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Ancestry Paper Collection. I'm just calling it Simple Vintage. This is actually my third video today. Today is Valentine's Day still. So this is number three. My husband's still helping his mommy, his mama. Um, and I'm running out of time, to be quite honest. So we're gonna make a few inserts and we're gonna make as many as we can until the hubby comes home. I did wanna tell you, someone told me, and I meant to mention this in the first video I recorded today, but someone told me that once again, they went to make sure they were subscribed to my channel and they were once again unsubscribed to my channel. I've noticed that's been happening quite a bit with, I mean, you can see kind of like your subscriber count just go wonky sometimes. And I don't really know what's happening with that, but what you can do if you would like, you can unsubscribe and then resubscribe and maybe that way it'll keep you back in where it won't kick you out very often <laughs> or hopefully it won't kick you out. I don't understand why YouTube makes it so hard, but anyway, so feel free to unsubscribe and subscribe or to check to make your subscribed out like down below. I'll have a little section in the description box. that says, um, subscribe to my channel. You can check there. Uh, you can hit that and check there to see if you're subscribed. Um, and be sure to turn the bell notification on so it'll let you know every time I upload a video. So if you remember correctly, we are making these albums rather quickly because we're doing one a month and I'm trying to focus on one or two cool ideas per album. Okay, and we're kind of keeping it, you know, where everything is, is, is the same page set up. So it's not like every fan has a different page set up. So, this is the, the same, but different, so I guess is what we've been calling it. So the, I've already done this one off camera, but this is the one we're doing together. So it's the same, but different. It's different color scheme. So we're kind of, it's the same setup. We're just using different, we're embellishing it differently, right? So this is kind of like a green and, or like a teal and pe a, cre a teal and cream feel. And this has got a red and cre creamy feel. So... Um, yeah, so we're going to start with these two. I'm not going to pull them out just yet uh, because they're kind of fun. So we're going to make those two that go in these two top slots right here. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to move this out of the way because it's kind of big. There is a whole playlist on this album from beginning to end, start to finish. And I will link that up here in the cards and down below in the description box. It starts with an introduction to the templates and then it goes from there with covers and page setups and where we made our journal, signature journals, where we put those, sew those in, added that new little extra binding thing that we did. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun, so be sure to check that out. And I also am trying to list down below the templates that we're using in each video. So, um, and timestamps. I'm also putting timestamps. So I'm doing this in every video, so... I wish I didn't have to repeat myself every time, but I do, but that's okay. And I can't remember if I say it every time because I am recording several videos at one time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For those two inserts, you're going to need, if you're following along with me, I printed, so this would be per fin, right? So 43D in the foundations, I printed a... Um, 43D on white cardstock with the letters background. So I printed that, I cut it out, I scored this part here and here. This is part one of a two part envelope. And I inked both sides, okay? So you're gonna need one of these per fin. And then also I printed this, first of all, this paper that is printed on, this background paper, this is from the scrap journal. This is the one that has like the the lines for journaling on it. So I'm gonna put that on the back of here, but I printed that first. So this is from the scrap journal. This is from the eight and a half by 11 PDF. And then I printed the mats for this, for this, 
which is on page 90D in the foundation. So I printed that just onto regular 24, is this 24 pound? This is 24 pound paper. So I just printed that onto there. You could have traced these out on here instead, but the, I was printing and, and, and that's what I chose to do. So that's all you're gonna need out of the, out of the foundations. And then you're gonna need Perfin. You're gonna need a page of 13D. Uh, I print these on two 24 pound paper. You're gonna need one sheet per fin for this insert, or these two inserts. So that's out of the add-on photo mats. Okay, so I haven't cut the mats out yet. So I'm gonna do that really fast. I'm gonna cut them out and ink them up if they need to be inked. And I'm gonna separate the top mat, this little top portion. I'm gonna separate that from the bottom portion. Okay, I'm not gonna ink them, I think they're fine. Um, you can, of course. But I am going to mat the back of these just really quick with these two that we just cut out because I want to be able to do some journaling. You could print some more of these out and you could put some on the back side here as well if you would like. Totally up to you, you can embellish them a little bit more. But I am just gonna leave them the way it is. Then I'm just gonna use the tape runner to attach them, because again, they're not gonna have any weight or anything on them. They most likely will not, this will not come off. I say that and watch it come off. <laughs> but you use whatever, you could use a glue stick if you wanted to, you know. You don't have to, you don't have to use fancy adhesive. You can just use a plain old glue stick. So the mats for, let's see, let's do it like this. These two mats, this was what I printed off. That's what they're supposed to be matted with. But I'm going to use from, whoops, where did I put the um, phones in the way? So from where we made our pages earlier, earlier in a previous video, these are the pieces that we cut off, even though they're, there's really not a whole lot of interest on them but we're going to use these to mat we're going to use the cream side on one and the red side on the other and yeah go from there so I'm, I'm just going to use this since I've got it sitting right here and we can use these little pieces for something else so, I'm going to trace these out, cut them out, ink them up. All right, then the next thing is I want to, we're going to be doing a wax seal and we're going to be putting some Baker's twine on there and I'm going to do a label. This time we're going to use the, I think this size label. That's two. I wonder if we have any that are on sticker paper already. Doesn't, it doesn't have to be on sticker paper. That'll work. No, nope. none of those colors will work. Okay. So we'll just use, we'll use these if I've got the right colors. Maybe I'll do a red. I did a red and a green or a pinkish red and a green on the other one. But none of these really, oh, this one's on sticker paper. Or is it on cardstock? I can't tell. It just doesn't, it doesn't look like the right color. What if I just use that? Yeah. Okay. So this is my ephemera. Yeah, my ephemera keeper. I was getting ready to call it my scraper keeper. I thought I was saying scraper keeper. I wasn't saying scraper keeper. <laughs> and I used a stamp. And 
I've got that right here. I used a photo memories. I need a stamp block. And uh, did I use a different? Did I just use photo memories? Photo memories. Yeah, photo memory. Photos and memories is the only one I use. So this is the stamp set that's part of the collection. It was optional, but I really like it. So. I'm going to move both of these stamps over here. And I'm also going to use the Archival Black Soot. It comes in a pack of four with the four different, uh, four different colors. And it really does stamp really nicely. If I'm not mistaken, I think they both are going to be stamped the same way. I may have done it after I put it on there. I don't know. See, look how pretty that is. I don't know how well you can see. But I have to keep you that far away from me because these books are so enormous. And let me get over top. I can't hardly see. If I'm not mistaken, this stamp block is also part of that collection that I had bought together from scrapbook.com that has the round and it's got the bigger ones and stuff. So, I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to ink these edges ever so slightly. So I'm going to use my tape runner tape, since these are not on sticker paper. Oh no! Now I'm out of tape runner tape. Alright, I quickly replaced my tape in my tape runner. And I should have no more problems. Oh, I don't need it on all four sides. I should have no more problems <laughs> for the rest of this project. So. I'm going to have it over to the side here on both of them and then we'll trim that extra bit off. It's hard when you're working with just a plain old paper. I'm just going to trim this off. Tri Oops, I didn't get them exactly right. They're the same, but that's okay. And let's just ink that edge. Okay, so we got these ready. Let's just put them on really quick. because it's going to end up like this, okay, and then this one's going to go over here. All right, let me move these. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some pages to this. So it's going to be like a, like a photo flip. We've done this before. So what I did was I took a piece of coffee stained paper and I traced one out. Uh, I traced it onto um, coffee stained paper once and then I just kind of repeated it over and over and over because I want it to be the exact same width. It doesn't have to be the same height because this is going to come over it like this. So I made two for each one. So what I want to do is, and then here's here's all that's left. I actually took a, a piece of 11 by 17 copy stain paper to make all four of these. And these are the pieces I have left, plus this little bit. So that was kind of cool. Put that in my, whoops, put that in my crafty tray. So what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to tape two of these together like this. I'm just going to lay them together. Put those two together. And I'm going to put some tape there. I'm going to lay this on here. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Not to worry if it's not perfect. Right. And then I'm going to put some there. And there. And voila. It looks like I got a little bit of overhang. Right there. And I can ink it up and make it go away a lot quicker. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing over here. We've done these, um, done the same thing with the four by six photos, but we're going to do three by fours in this situation. Just to change it up, I'm really liking, I'm really, um, really like the way these look. It's becoming one of my most favorite um, insert. Oh. Well, I just did a bad job on both of them. This one really has some overhang. Well, I didn't, I don't think I, I traced it well. You know, sometimes when you trace something, you either have to cut right out on the, on the trace line or, that looks all wonky, or right inside the trace line. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I think you do. Oh, I still need this. So we have those two. So now I'm going to take these three by four photo mats and we're going to attach them to the bottom part of this page that we just installed into our uh, photo, in photo flip insert. And then you can journal up here. So that's my thoughts. Or you could put the picture up here and journal down here. But I kind of like it being down here. So I'm just going to attach them. And if you wanted to, you could put one on the front, one on the back, you know, you could put one here and that would give you four per insert, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put on the front sides here. And I didn't even stamp them, but that's okay. You can always come back and stamp them later with the three by four and you could also then put photos on here. So you could, there could potentially be one, two, three, four, five, six, three by four photos per insert, plus room for journaling and, and whatnots. Oh, I definitely got that one crooked, but that's okay. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some baker's twine and wrap around the top just for interest and then we're going to do a wax seal. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go around three times. One, two, three. And then I'm going to tie it over here on this side like that. Oops, I'm going to try to move these around where they look nice. There we go. And then we'll have that wax seal right there. I'm going to do this one. Okay. So now I need to decide what color wax seal I'm going to use. So I've got all my custom, my custom wax beads that we made. I did a video specifically for this. I'll link that up here in the cards and down below in the description box. So let me, whoa, let me pull out the other ones that I made so that you can see them. So these I used, I used the one that I ended up having to make these little small sections. I think that's this one right here. 
I used that color there, but I was thinking about maybe changing it up to, uh, I'm not, I don't think I'll do this color. Um, I think that might be a little too orangey right up next to that red. But I'm kind of digging the burgundy-ish looking like the, or is that the, is that the one I used? Well, now I can't tell. Let's see. Maybe I did use the burgundy looking one. Well, okay. Come on. There we go. It's just really hard to tell. Oh, that might be, um, no. These are so close. I mean, the, not the not the orangey looking ones, but the other two colors, they are so, so close. One's just more purpley and one's more red. And it's really hard to tell the difference. I think these are all the purpley ones. But uh, I can't tell, I can't say for sure. I can't. Well, I'm going to use these purpley ones. So, I just need two. I need two of my little custom wax beads. And I need my wax spoon. And I'm going to lay it over top of my candle here. And I'm going to let it melt. Also use the love stamp. So, I'm going to use that again. I want you to know I need to change my battery. Okay, while that's melting, I'm going to change my battery. Wow, that was a quick change. A really quick battery change. And my wax thingy isn't melted yet. I think a good way to get these to melt quicker would be to cut them into smaller pieces. So, for the next one, like it's the same, si the same amount of wax, but for the next one, I'm going to chomp it into several pieces and maybe it'll melt faster. So I can still see, I don't know how well you can see, there's still like a solid piece right in there. So, And if you look at these, I didn't do very good. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pour the wax on there very good at all. Do you see that? Got a little, a little, a little Got a little excited, right? <laughs> Colored outside the lines on this is what I did. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm just being silly. So now I'm gonna take and pour this right over top of that knot. And see, this is gonna do the same thing. And it might have everything to do with the Baker's Twin. It might be the sole reason it looks like it does. Because, I mean, I can already tell this is going to be kind of be the same. I'm going to hold this down for a second because it wants to pop up. Okay, let me put these in here. People that sit there and hold their lighter, and I could not, I do not have the patience to sit there and hold that. I like to be able to sit it on my cool salt candle, which... By the way, my mom gave me this salt candle, salt candle, salt candle, and I have several of them through the house, and I have them in my Amazon list specifically for this project, well, in most projects, and the tea lights, because the tea lights burn forever. So I've got those in there if you want to check them out. They're just fun. They have a flat surface, so you can put your um, melting spoon there. I just like it. I just think it's fun. Double duty. It's like a double duty. Double duty kind of thing. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, this one went outside the lines <laughs> as well. That's okay. I wonder if I can tell now that they're different. Yeah, this one does look like it's got a little bit more red, and this has got a little bit more pink. So, and it might be the exact same color. It's hard to tell now that uh, they're all mixed in together because they're just barely different. So, there's that. All right, let's see if I can... Make sure this one doesn't go too, too wonky. But I just love the look of wax seals. I'll quit talking. Let's just wait for that to finish melting. 
Okay, it's smoking, but I think it's all melted now. Let's see what I can do here. See how big of a mess I can make. Whoa! And this ends up being three, I'm going to set this aside. Those are three wax beads together, which is, I think, the right amount for this size of wax seal. So... So it looks like so far this one has turned out to be the best one over top of the Baker's Twine, even though we've done it many times before. I've just never had it go a little wild like this. And this string ended up being right over top of that Memories, but it's okay. Let's see if I can take this off. Yeah. Wow, that one went, that one went way outside what I thought it was going to do. But again, Totally fine, totally fine. Okay, so we've got those. That's all we're gonna do to those, right? That's enough, that's pretty. I like it, I think it's cool. And so there's other inserts that go in those pockets. And we've already made those tags for back here. They're right there. So we're gonna do this little collection of inserts. So let me grab what we need and I'll be right back. This is just a cluster of three different embellishments. There is a three by four um, photo mat that, hit, that is matted with one of the three by four cut aparts from the paper collection in the, in the bottom pocket. And then there is one of these small little envelope, printable glassine style envelopes from the this and that scrap journal PDF. And then a postcard from the this and that scrap journal. PDF. So, uh, well, and it's got a paper clip and we did a little bit of embellishing on there. And I will show you that in just a second. So what you're going to need is, I've already got the postcards because I printed the, there's two pages of postcards that I printed. So I used one of the large ones in this pocket and one of the large ones in this pocket and then we'll use two other ones from those pages. So here's the leftover bits. This is from the scrap journal, this and that. And I've used this postcard and I printed off page 13 from the this and that's PDF and I printed off page 15 from the this and that's PDF. So I've used this postcard and this postcard. So these are the leftover bits from both pages. I'm not going to use the small ones right now. So I'm just going to remove those. So we'll use these two postcards, the two larger ones left over. We'll use those on these pockets. So I'm going to put these in somewhere in here in one of my crafty trays for future use. So we're going to use those two and then where's the rest of it? Nope, nope, back here. And then on page 22 of the this and that's you're going to need one or no two of these pages per fin. So I printed it onto 24 pound regular copy paper and I've already cut them out and inked them up and folded them and scored them and everything. So we're not going to be using these two parts uh, right now. But I'm going to put them away in my scrap, scrap uh, or my crafty companion. I've got the other two from the other page. I just didn't ink those up. I'm going to put those in my crafty companion so that I can use them. I was going to say in my scrap tray. Have I ever called it a scrap tray? I don't think I ever have. So we got these two. So two pages of this per her fin. So I've got those ready. And then out of the photo, uh, add on photo mats, page 13D, I printed one page of this for the two fins, uh, 13D, and I printed them onto cardstock. So this is 80 pound cardstock. And I've already inked up the one side, and then we'll mat the front side with some of the cut apart pieces. So I haven't picked those just yet. So. Let's go ahead and do that. And I guess I need to kind of look and see what we got going on here. So I used reds, I think, on the other side. So let's use something that has greens in it or the teal color. I kind of like those. There's two of those. We're going to have to use those in something, just not, not in this one. So these are all from the cut apart page for the 3x4 cut apart. Maybe we'll use that one in the back pocket and then maybe we'll use this one 
in the front pocket. Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll just go ahead and do that right now. And we're just going to chomp these corners with the photo corner. Whoops, I almost chomped the wrong side. With the photo corner. And then chomp this one. I love this. I love this thing. I'll have it linked down below. Um, they brought it back out. They brought it back out just for us. That's what we're. That's what we keep telling ourselves. <laughs> but I have it linked down below. I have it in my Amazon list. Either way, check it out. I'm just gonna ink these up really quick. I was so happy when I designed the add-on photo mats that it was available. That corner chomper was available, and then. When I came out with the Basically Amazing, I'll, they sold out of them and then they were gone and then now they're back. And I think it's because everybody was like, bring them back, we want them. So I think they listened. So I was thankful that they listened because that chomper, corner chomper, it makes, it fits perfectly. When you're using these printable add-on photo mats, it looks like there's old fashioned photo corners on there without the bulk and without the tediousness. <laughs> but I love those too. I just like these are these are better because these are um, these are oh you know what I just did I just did the wrong thing a photo is supposed to go on the side but what is it gonna look like if I do it like this I'm sp that'll work that'll work that looks kind of cool too we'll just okay so that was meant to be it was a happy accident so <laughs> I forgot I was gonna put them on the back side that's what happens when you try to do too much at one time. You know, when you try to film too many things at one time, that's what's happening here. So I'm going to stamp these with 3 by 4 on this side. Like that. So did you guys make the corrugated cardboard, recycled corrugated cardboard covers? And if you did, let me know what you think. Let me know if you liked it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a second. And I'm going to put these on the back. And we'll just have to, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. So it was kind of a cool, happy accident. Because on these, I didn't chomp the corners, but maybe I should have. So it looks neat. Uh, and I didn't get it on there very good, but yeah, I like it. Okay. Maybe I can do this one a little bit better. Okay. Isn't it? Look, I, that's just, that's almost, I can't take it almost. I think I can get it up. It's just too much. It's too cattywonked. And not in a good way, cattywonked. It's cattywonked in a, in a bad way. <laughs> Let's try it again. Now watch me go. It's completely the opposite way Caddy wanted. Okay, that'll work. So that's simple. No big deal. Those two are ready. And then these two, uh, I'm just going to close them up. You can see I inked just the fold there, and I did ink around the edges. What else did I do? Oh, I did do a little bit of a little bit of decorating. So let's close these up. I'm just going to add some glue to the edges of these. I am using white glue, but you gotta be careful because if you use, if you go too heavy with it, you'll see it through um, the paper. And that's, it doesn't look right. I mean, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. So. Okay, I think I'm getting hungry, I'm shaking. I've been recording for a long time. It's like, what time is it? Oops, it's almost four o'clock on Valentine's Day, and I think I've been recording since like 10 o'clock or something like that. And that's a long time to be recording. <laughs> All right, so I did use, I did use the, some of the sticker, stickers. And now I remember that now. 
I'm trying to use my stickers, you guys. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's these little, this page full of just words. And I think I'm going to use Remember and Our Heritage just because it has the green on it. And I kind of wanted to make sure there was green on the red page. So what do y'all think about these sticker books? Did anybody get it? And do they like it? Uh, it's interesting. It's nice. It's, it gives you a variety. You know what I haven't been really looking at, though, is the full sheet of stickers that come with the with the um, the collection. So I'm just going to put this on here like this. And we are going to do a little a little baby wax seal. I had an idea, and I wanted to experiment before I did it on the envelope. And so I'll have to go get it to see if it'll, I'm sure it'll work. But I wanted to see. I want to see something. Oops. So there's those two. Cute. And then I'll just ink these up. I don't think I do anything special. I'm just going to ink these up. So I'll do that and then I'll be right back. All right, I've got the two postcards inked up and ready to go. But what I wanted to experiment with is if you see here on these, I just use a little small amount of wax and then tried to use this big old stamp and it worked just fine. I mean, it doesn't look, doesn't look bad. And I do have a tiny little wax stamp but they're not readily available at least i can't find a lot of them but i do have some i want to experiment because i have these these were my dad's and these are for um they're, they look dirty these are for leather i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it doesn't say either but these were my dad's these are numbers and then there's a, a bunch of letters it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's leather because he used to make like belts and things like that. Um, pretty sure. Could be for wood burn. No, what, that wouldn't make any sense. I guess you could st stamp it like with a hammer as well as you do with leather into softwood. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try. I'm going to experiment. I want to see what it looks like. I won't do it on the envelope, so I'm just going to grab one bead and let that melt. And a lot of you probably have something like this in your stash. So let's just see if it, let's just see what it does. Let's pick a number. Oops. Um, let's do four. And I kind of, I'm thinking I'm going to like this font as well. I don't know why I picked four. It just seemed like a nice number. But I want to see what it looks like. So hurry up and melt. And that way we can see if we want to put it on our envelopes like that. I think it'll be cute. I'm about ready to paint my tabletop. This is really kind of like an island. It's not an island. It's like it's shaped like an island. It's in my loft. It's I had it custom made a long time ago, and I, st I just don't know what to call it ever. It's an island. It's a workstation. It's a studio. It's a combination of everything. But anyway. <laughs> This is something I put on top of it to protect the work surface, of course, and I'm thinking about painting it. So stay tuned for that. Maybe not during this project, but I'm thinking about giving it like a chalk paint type wash. I don't know. Let me know what you think. By the time you see this video, I may have already done it by then, but still give me your opinion. Let me know what you think. Okay, I think it's melted. Just I'm using it, my rose quartz. Um, coaster here. And then I'm going to let that sit for a second. And I'm going to stamp it. Let's see. I have to hold it upright because it's a you know piece of metal. That is, oh look, you can see my light. That is kind of cool. One of my lights. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? 
I'm kind of digging it. And that's kind of the perfect size. Let me get it up off of here. Oh my goodness. The other end of this just grabbed onto my scissors. It's kind of the perfect size for these little envelopes too, isn't it? Okay, that's fun. Let's do that. I'm not gonna use this one. That is cute, that is cute. Okay, but I will. I need to change my spoons. Ah. I just laid this down on paper, you guys. And it's stuck. I know better. All right. And I do have wax seal stamps that are very large numbers. And those are cool, too. I guess they're not as large as this one. They're, they're, they're about half the size. So if you have those, you can totally use those too, but I thought it would be fun to use something different. And um, I think what I'll do, this is, this is three, this is three, and I need my scissors that I threw on the floor. So maybe we'll do one and a half. Let's just do one and a half. So we'll cut one of these custom beads that we made in half. And we'll melt each half to do each envelope. So we can do two separate numbers. We can do a three and a four. That'd be kind of cute. There's the three. We'll do the three first. So I'm going to lay it here and what, cause I don't want to shut the envelope and I don't have anything to put in these envelopes right now. So yeah, I think this is cute. So I'm going to pour some in the middle and then I'm going to let it drip in random spots because that's kind of cool because that happens, you know, like it just boop, back in the old days because, you know, I was totally around back in the old days <laughs> and I'm going to do, oops, I'm moving it, I'm going to do a three, so one and a half is probably too much. That really made it kind of thick, didn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's melt those while we wait. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So then this one is going to have a four. Let's put the three back. Oh, these are dirty. <laughs> it was obviously too much wax for these little bitty numbers, but I think they're cute. So it was just a fun idea. So if you have those, whoops, if you have these, get them out and use them. Why not? It's already released. That is adorable. I'm sure that's not dry. I'm sure it's not 100% dry. So I'm gonna let these. Well, no. I'm gonna get paper clips. I'm gonna grab some rusted paper clips. I rusted these myself, so I'm just gonna use these to keep them closed for a minute. I have a video on how I did this, but you can you can just use alcohol inks or not you can just use a regular paper clip whatever you want to use you don't have to use a rusted one I just like that vintage 
vintage vibe. Okay, because we are going to use it anyway for the postcards. So, it's going to be on here like this. So, it's going to be clipped to the postcard anyway. Pretty sure that's what I did. Like that. And then these two. Let's get the album. So this little set will go right here. Right? And then open this one up. And this little set will go right here. Right? I like it. That's so cute. So you can see the little four. Do you like the numbers? Because I think it's adorable. All right. Well, I used the paper clip on the other side. But that's okay. We can, we can change it. Let's change it. Doesn't matter, right? But I do like you to be able to see the layers, so I do like it to be a little, little bit further apart. Okay, and then these will go in here. I'm pretty sure I did it like this. Tuck those little ends in. There's that one. Tucking those ends in, and then there's that one, right? Oh, I just love it, it looks so cute. Okay, you guys, tell me what you think. Oh, let's put the other ones in. So this one goes here. I might have to shorten those tails. They are a bit. They are a bit in the way. They're a bit long. That's better if I hold the pocket open. There. So there's one fin. Right? With the with the inserts. And then there's the same but different with the inserts. Right? Boom. Boom. Oh, I think it's adorable. What do you guys think? I love them. I love all these layers. I love all these things to pull out, all of these interactive things. They're just right up my alley. I love it. And they're simple and easy. And the wax seal just takes them up just that much more. I just love it. I don't know if I told you guys off camera, I did add a pull to the side pocket insert to this one. I don't remember when I did it, but I did add that at some point in, the, in today. <laughs> All right, so I think we're just going to stop there and, oh, I think we're going to stop there, which might be perfect timing, um, and then we'll do some more inserts in the next video. So give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and be sure that you're subscribed to my channel with the bell notifications on, and I will see you next time.